Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to set your tension for your Janome. Uh, I'm using the model 802 N2 DG, uh, but uh, you can use this for any um, overlocking machine. And so let's just start. First, you need to cut out four pieces of fabric. I would recommend you do it in a light color fabric so you can see the thread. Um, if you're using bright color thread, you can also use maybe a black. Uh, fabric but it's uh, up to you obviously in black is difficult to write the numbers um, but um, it's obviously your choice uh, so if you get two to four pieces of fabric that's folded like I have done here and mark them so you're gonna need to have a range from zero to nine and it's important to do lines in between the numbers so I have done this for all of uh, the four pieces then the next thing you're going to do is, depending on your machine, uh, each dial is going to have a color. Maybe your machine doesn't have that and you're going to have to write down on the side, but I think pretty much all machines have uh, a color per dial. On our machine, they're orange, blue, like a burgundy red and a green. So I basically have chosen those color threads. That's very important. So you can identify the threads within the fabric. Uh, first, um, what I would do is get one of the pieces, basically I've marked all of them with the colors, so orange, blue, red, and green. And I'm gonna start from left to right. On the other dials, once it's everything is threaded and you're ready to go, on the other dials that are in the red, which uh, the orange, which is the one you're gonna start with, you're gonna put it on three. So this is just for now. So tension to three, and then on the orange dial, which is which one we're gonna use first, you go all the way to zero. Then you're gonna start on your first piece of fabric that says orange, and you're gonna put it down here, and gonna start stitching. So I'll show you, so I start stitching on two, I get to every line. So in each line, I'm gonna change the tension dial to what's marked on the, on the fabric. So I'm gonna go zero all the way to the line, and then I'm gonna go like this, and like this. I have been changing one, little by little, all the way till I finish this piece. When you finish, you cut the thread and you can see. So you're gonna first go and have a look at uh, what you've done. So basically we've been doing the orange, so you should have a closer look to the orange thread, which is here. So you follow it. Um, in this case, it looks quite tidy. Um, so you need to also look at the other side and see. See the orange thread here is too loose. So basically the loop goes over and then you need to find the piece of the part of the fabric where it doesn't look loose it just looks right which is around here so I turn around so I say tension six so what I would do is I would have a piece of fabric uh, uh, paper and you put orange and put tension six also you go gonna head go ahead in the in the dial and gonna put tension six yeah now you're gonna have to go to the next one along so it's the blue and you go with your blue fabric a uh, blue white fabric <laughs> and go to zero yeah and do exactly the same process so you basically put the fabric here and start with zero one Two, three, four. You have to change every time when you get to the line. So once you finish this piece, you're gonna do exactly the same thing you've done with the other piece. So you're gonna look closely to the blue line, which is here. You can see here the fabric. If I just let go naturally, it looks really tight. So there's obviously here, there's something wrong here. So that means that probably the blue is really tight. So if I go back, the blue is that little dot 
that's there seems to be fine around here and then all of a sudden from this area the fabric starts to bend so you obviously don't want any of this um, the, with the blue one is probably the most difficult one which is the second dial because uh, it's just one loop that pulls so it's difficult to see so just make sure you see that the fabric is not bunched up so I would say something along the lines of here from what I can see so it's tension 3 or 4 so I will write here blue on your piece of paper 3 or 4 and then make sure to change the dial to 4 for example and then you start again with the next dial so the next dial is the red or burgundy in my case and do the same thing with the zero then I change to one two three four five six seven eight and nine. so now let's look at the thread so the, in this case is the burgundy thread so if you see the burgundy thread is one of the loops that goes uh, here if I put this against let's say a white background you can see the loop is going over so this is very loose so it's not right so if you keep going you can see it gets slightly bit better and then at the end it gets quite tight so I would certainly check where the loop just is just on the edge and it looks right so it's probably I would say number seven or maybe number eight so I'll write number seven for now you can always change so once you finish all of the tensions you can always modify them because you remember there's like seven or eight or so after the next uh, the next dial is the green so you remember to change this one to seven which is the burgundy the one we just did and now we do green green to zero and then the same thing up to the line you do all of the numbers one by one you can do this with every material that you're going to use and it's a very simple and easy process so the last uh, is green you can see here let me see if I can show it like this the green is gone over so obviously it's ex extremely uh, loose so basically the, the burgundy thread is pulling it uh, and you can just you need to look until the green is just on the line if you, I turn around the piece you can see here the green is too tight so it needs to be probably here somewhere along this line yeah, so I wouldn't go past, so it would be 4 or 5. So green is 4 or 5. So basically, now, I'm just going to get, sorry, from my bin, my fabric bin. <laughs> I'm going to get a piece of fabric, which is the same, it's uh, cotton, poplin. And I'm going to stitch with the tensions that I picked, which is six, four, seven, and four. And it's perfect. So all the threads are in the perfect tension. So yeah, that's it. So you can use this for any material that you're trying to do, from jeans, from like cotton from jersey and this is the best method fast and uh, to actually figure out what's the tension for your machine so hope you like this video press thumbs up and uh, watch all the videos thank you bye